All right, guys, new version of QB64. I have already downloaded it and uncompressed it into my folder. If we go through the uh, change log here, uh, there's uh, a bunch of new features. It looks like all minor incremental changes, mostly IDE related, some fixes, and um, Yep, um, I'm not going to go through the install. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just download the uh, which version. Uh, you, let me just go over and uh, you just download which version, uncompress it to a folder, and run it. So I've already done that. Uh, let's open it up. Uh, so I've put mine on my C drive in a QB64 underscore one underscore five because I already have a, a previous version. Let's see which version I have. The version I have is over here. So I have 1.2 which I think might have been, you know, up to a couple years ago. So everything's been working fine. I haven't had a need to change it. But I was just curious to see what new features are available and how it works. And uh, let's just run the current version. And there's a new color scheme, color theme. I've already set up the uh, display. I already chose my uh, custom font and set up my uh, sizes. This may be different than how you prefer, but uh, I'm getting a little older, so I like my uh, my fonts a little bigger. So the new color scheme. Uh, let's see. I think we should be able to. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, not a fan of that or this too white. Uh, nope. Mm. I think maybe classic and original and dark blue. I think those are my favorite. Working on a little, little code to eventually write a little platformer game. And I like to uh, test it by running it on this. And uh, let's see if it works. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with the uh, QB64 folder as the default. So that was good, and uh, let's see if we can, yeah, and the resizing works. So there's a compiler directive you can choose uh, to resize, uh, for the window to be resizable. Now, I don't know if there's a way to actually set that so it, it appears the same size each time. Uh, maybe that's something that's been added, but uh, I always have to always resize it to the size I want. But let's just... Uh, Try this out, and uh, yeah, it seems to be working like before. Now, I'm not trying to do a Donkey Kong version. I'm, I'm just using the graphics to test uh, certain things, and uh, even though it looks like I'm trying to do a Donkey Kong game, eventually I'm I'm going to be making something else. Okay, so yeah, it crashes just like before. I have I have some code to fix. Okay, that's it for this video.